Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we've got the Ryobi Bandsaw. This is model P590. So today we're gonna to be going over the tool features of this. We're gonna be showing you how to change a blade and then we're also gonna be giving you a quick demonstration on this tool. So yeah, let's get right into it. First thing we'll tell you is you're gonna to want to wear gloves when you're changing out this blade. It's very easy to cut yourself and you're gonna be, you know, fitting this in to these wheels under here. So it's very important to wear gloves just, just so you don't cut yourself. So the first thing we'll do is we'll show you how to remove and reinstall the battery. So to install the battery, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just push it in until you hear a click. And then to remove the battery, you just push in these gray buttons right here and pull the battery straight out. And then for all this, right up until the demonstration, we're just gonna leave the battery out. You always want the battery out. The tool locked, which I'll show you that. So here's your trigger. And this is your, uh, kind of your on off. This unlocks and locks the tool. So if you push this in, that'll unlock it. You could press your trigger. And then on this side, you could see the little lock button right there. If you press that, that's gonna lock your trigger. So you always just wanna have your battery out trigger locked and just avoid any any issues so the first thing we're going to do is show you how to switch out the blade so to do that you're going to want to take this lever right here and it's pretty tough so you're going to want to use two hands and just pull this lever or push this lever 180 degrees so it's like that and what that does is it brings this wheel in so you can see when I take the lever back out, you can see the wheel's gonna go out that way. See the wheel goes that way, and then when we tighten it, the wheel, tighten, the wheel comes in to allow you to fit the blade on. So you're gonna want this 180 degrees flipped up, lock it into place, and then we could work and then we could get the blade on. So you're gonna wanna set this on a nice level surface so you have these wheels exposed, and then we're gonna put our gloves on. Take our new blade, and I'll throw a link in the description on where you could buy this bandsaw, and also where you could buy replacement blades for it. So just check the link in the description and in the comments, and it'll take you right to where you could buy the tool and the, and the blades for it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do here is kind of fold this blade like this, because when you get it out of the package, it's just pretty much a perfect circle. But you're gonna wanna fold it like this, and then you're gonna wanna fit it. So this blade is gonna come down, and it's gonna go through this guide right here, and then it's gonna fit in between these wheels. So you have to fit it in through all those things first, and then you could kinda maneuver it around the wheel. The other very important thing is you want to make sure you're putting it on correctly. So for these, you just have to remember when the tool's flipped up, you want the, the teeth sticking up. So we'll do that for you. We'll see if we could tilt it up and get it into place for you so you could see without my hands being in the way. So you just want to take it. Maybe we'll bring the camera over here. And you want to feed the blade in through the guide and then in through the cutting, in through the guide wheels. Just like that. And then once you have that in place, like that, then you could set the saw down and then you could work on getting it actually over the wheels. And this is where the gloves come in handy because it's gonna wanna move on you. And it's gonna jump off the wheels sometimes so you just have to Kind of fold it over, get it into place. It's a little awkward, but if you do it enough times, it gets a little bit easier. But yeah, just always make sure you have gloves on when you do this because it's very easy to cut yourself. These blades aren't like crazy. I mean, they are sharp. You could do it without gloves, but 
you run a pretty high risk of cutting yourself. So now you can see we have the blade roughly in place. You can see it's kind of sitting up on this wheel and that's no good. You want the teeth flush with the top of this wheel, with each wheel. So all you can do, you can just kind of spin the blade and as you're spinning it, kind of push it into place. And you can see it kind of just clicked in there. And now it's seated properly. And you can see the blade is flush with this wheel right here on each wheel. So that's how you know it's seated properly. Our teeth are pointing up. And now we could flip the saw over and we could take this lever and push it back and that's going to tighten up our blade like that. And then we'll put the battery back in and we'll just give it a quick run and make sure that everything's okay with it. So we'll turn our safety off. And you can see the blade is spinning nicely, spinning freely. It's not coming off anywhere. Okay. So now we'll lock it back up, take the battery out. Anytime you have this thing flipped over and you're looking at it, and just make sure it's seated. And now I'll go over some of the other features of this. Something that's kind of a little hidden is the Allen key for this is right underneath this battery pack, right where the battery goes. You'll see the Allen key and what that does this is a two and a half millimeter, I believe, but you can adjust a lot of stuff on this. So you can, this stop plate right here, you could see those two screws. You could take them out with this and this, you could slide it down one more notch just so this whole plate lowers down a little bit. And then it just gives you a little bit more cutting room. And then these two screws right here, though what those do are, those adjust your blade tracking. So if your blade's not seated properly, you give them a quarter of a turn equally, and that'll adjust your wheels to get your blade to seat properly. But this is a brand new saw, so we don't really have to worry about that. And then to put the Allen key back in, you just put it in like that, and then just slide it in to the little groove there. It's a little hidden. If you don't know exactly where it's at, it actually took me about two minutes to find where that actually was. All right, so now we'll put the battery back in and we'll just give you a quick demonstration. We're gonna, we're gonna be cutting a 5 8 inch rebar on this. Okay guys, so now we're at the workbench and we're gonna be cutting through this 5 8 inch rebar with our bandsaw. So I'll show you how, what you're gonna wanna do is put this guard right up against it and then we're gonna unlock our safety and we'll show you how it cuts. So you can see when you're using this, you really don't want to apply really all that much pressure. You just want to let the blade do the work and it cuts through it really nice. Does it quickly. We have a full charge on this, on this battery. So yeah, you can see it's, it just works pretty, pretty great. There's the brand new blade that I have on it. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this Ryobi bandsaw model P590. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me grow. It helps me create more content. So yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.